spot I wanted to fish to get a family fishing it already. So it uh, looks like I'm just going to be right here in this little pool area down here. I don't know. I'll be walking up and down probably. We'll see what happens. I might go downstream. See if it's that way. But I also might check out upstream. But I've only got probably about another hour before it starts getting dark. So hopefully I catch something. Alright. Water's kind of dark, murky a little bit. It's a little bit of clarity, so we'll start off with a chatterbait. It's got a swim dinger on it. Oh, something was there following it. Saw it whip. Saw a tail hit the surface there. Now I'm going to try the spinner. Same rig I had the other day, or yesterday. How you doing? <laughs> Come here. <Psst. <laughs> Dog just dunked itself. <laughs> Back at it, huh? Back at it, huh? Yeah. Come here again. My spot. Anything today? Yeah, off Mission Road. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I catch bass there all the time underneath underneath the road yeah. there. I went over there, but they were getting there. I ran out of. I was using live bait. I was using the power bait, but I wasn't getting no bite. They uh, they like Senkos there. Yeah. I always catch them on Senkos. Yeah, there's a couple of yum dingers you can try out. <laughs> Nah, I got these uh, other rigs tied on. I don't have any other rods with me right now, so. Um, usually I try to do release, but uh, if it swallows the hook or something and I can't save it, oh, okay. I'll keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've never caught anything out there. Yeah, I never got any bites over there, dude. I walked all the way from that park all the way to downtown fishing the whole trail all the way up and didn't get a bite till I got to the Gunther house. Oh yeah. So there's some big fish up there. It's just hard to fish because it's a little walking path with handrails and everything, you know. Too many other people walking around. Mulberry, yeah. If if you drive down Mulberry, uh -huh. if you're coming from Broadway Broadway past the golf course there and Brackenridge Park is on the right side. Yeah, yeah. Right past the golf course, there's a street. It doesn't have a street name or anything. It's actually got a uh, gate that they can close it with, but it's usually open. It's called Avenue A, and you can drive in there. And there's tons of places where you can fish back in there, all the way down to the end. And uh, down at the end, there's a low water crossing. It's kind of it's a bridge, kind of like this. 
and there's yeah i catch most stuff uh just down from the low water crossing there's a, a storm drain and they're they're always up inside there yeah i think i'm gonna go check out uh upstream before it gets too dark Just walk up this way, see how it looks up there. Might be easier to get over in the grass and go down. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. It gets dark fast out here. <laughs> I was hoping to get out here about four, but yeah. This is gonna be a tough area to cast, but I can already see, like if straight across from where I am, there's a little tunnel. If I can get up under there, like during the day, it'd be a great spot to fish. I don't know if I'll be able to. Yeah, you don't get hung up as much, but you can't throw them as far. I don't even know where that went. <laughs> I was hoping to catch something, man. I'm trying to do videos every day, but fishing's been pretty bad lately. Like the video I did yesterday, I released it today. And yeah, like I didn't catch any fish though, but I had a, I found a, an old horseshoe on the ground. And then, uh, I, I, I had a top water strike over there on the bridge where we were. It was a big catfish or something, but that was it. Yeah. That's the problem with catfish because I was using a spinner like this. And uh, when the catfish takes it, the hook is always in line with the spinner. So the catfish will take it and they have that flat mouth. So they'll get the whole thing and then they'll let go of it and it comes right back out. They don't, they don't get the hook. Yeah. That's why uh, they have trailer hooks that are like trebles, yeah. and you can just hook that on the end. Catch a lot more fish with those, but I ran out. <laughs> the only problem is it's starting to get dark now. It's hard to see what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've heard, but nobody seems to understand why. Some people, some people say it's because they can't see red. Yeah. Other people say it's because they're attracted to red. That's, that's certainly a possibility too. Yeah, but during the day, I bet this would be a great spot. Definitely for catfish. So they'll all pull up around in the shade. I was out there, uh, last week or two weeks ago but it started raining and that's when everything flooded that was and it's finally it's just now getting down to where you can fish again but like at Brackenridge I went to Brackenridge yesterday and you still can't even get down to the river in some parts because the mud it's so soft Here. Since we didn't catch anything, here's a consolation prize. <laughs> oh, cool. It uh, Thanks. it extends out. There's nothing tied onto it, but it's, a, you, it's a cheap little Chinese reel. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and the cheap Chinese. Chen Biao. Yeah. Right. The reel's actually pretty decent. Probably, yeah, nice. probably about the same as what you got on your ice rig. Yeah. But uh, the rod you can fold it up, carry it in your pocket or something, oh, cool. and it extends out to uh, six, six and a half feet. Oh, man. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, man. recording this part. This will be the video. All right. <laughs> we didn't catch anything. <laughs> cool.
Uh, I'll All see right. you around. I'll probably see you out here again. Yeah. <laughs>